Welcome to Mastering Solutions. This general problem says that you've always wondered about the acceleration of the elevators in the 101 story tall Empire State Building. So one day it says while visiting New York, you take a bathroom scale into the elevator and stand on it. And the scale reads 150 pounds as the door closes, and then it varies between 120 pounds and 170 pounds as the elevator goes up the 101 floors. We need to figure out the acceleration as we're going up and then as we're slowing down. So this is an apparent weight problem, obviously. And these questions, apparent weight ones, for whatever reason, they always just got me so confused and turned around on the homework problems and on the test. And I always really struggled with them. I found a equation that represents the apparent weight and I cannot find it in the book. So comment below as well if you see it in the book and I just am oblivious to it. But this equation, you should memorize it 1000%. It makes these questions so straightforward. I don't know why they didn't give it to you. I don't know if they're trying to make you understand it more conceptually or something. I don't know. But the apparent weight is equal to the weight. And then we're going to take one plus the acceleration divided by gravity. That's it. This will give you the apparent weight for the scenario. In this case, we need to figure out the acceleration. These questions could be much more difficult without this formula, but let's rearrange it for acceleration. So first we'll divide over the weight. So we have weight apparent divided by the actual weight is equal to one plus acceleration divided by gravity. And now we're going to minus one. So we have, let's uh, come down here so we have more space. So we have weight apparent divided by weight actual minus one is equal to acceleration divided by gravity. And then finally, we're going to multiply both sides by G. So we have weight apparent divided by weight actual minus one, and then all of that is multiplied by G for the acceleration. So this is also another form that you could memorize for tests. So these two formulas are the two different versions of this that if you just memorize it, it'll make your life a thousand times easier on the test. So for part A, we need to figure out what the acceleration is as we're going upward. So if we're going upward, the elevator is pushing up on us. So we'll be pushing down on the weight on the scale more. So we're going to be the 170 pounds. So acceleration is equal to weight apparent is pounds divided by the actual they said is 150. So divided by 150 pounds and then minus all that from one multiplied by G or 9.8 of course meters per second squared is equal to acceleration. Now for part B, we're going to figure it out as it's breaking to a stop. So the elevator is going to be slowing down, but your body is still going to want to continue up at that fast speed. So the acceleration is going to be less. So as you're decelerating, the acceleration will be less. And so you'll weigh the 120 pounds. So we have same thing, 120 pounds divided by 150 minus one pounds times 9.8. So I did both of these so that you can see it's the same. We're just gonna plug them both into the calculator at the same time. And now one cool thing with this equation like this is if you look at this, the pounds are gonna cancel. So as long as the units are the same in this, it doesn't matter what units you plug in. They have to be equal, otherwise they won't cancel out appropriately. But if they're the same, just plug and chug and you're good to go. So for the first one, we have 170 divided by 150 minus one, and then we'll multiply that by 9.8 meters per second squared. So for the acceleration going up, we have 1.3 meters per second squared. Now let's steal all of this because all we're changing is 170, now is 120. So as we slow down, we have a negative acceleration, obviously, of negative 1.96, and we can round that to two. So for going up, 1.3 meters per second squared, and then slowing down was, of course, a negative two meters per second squared. So here are your answers for this apparent weight problem. And as I said, memorize these two equations. It'll make your life way easier.